The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. The following contest is a handicap match. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Listen to this place. They're going nuts. And her opponents, Ali, the idol, Tanaka, and the Headbangers. Quite a unique match here, guys, as we're looking at a three-on-one affair coming up next. Yeah, and in the case of the one, you have to give points for bravery, though not so much for smarts. This is it. Handicap action is underway. A handicap match oh. might just be the most unenviable position any WWE superstar could find themselves in. We've seen some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years. And one that stands out in my mind? Well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that saw John Cena take on six members of the Nexus. Ooh, what impact. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. That six-on-one match Byron brought up earlier actually could have even been more lopsided. If you remember, it was originally supposed to be seven-on-one, but John Cena was able to take Darren Young out of the equation when he injured him the week prior. Well, you know what? He should have kept taking Nexus members on because even without Darren Young, the Nexus was able to accomplish their goal that night, defeat John Cena. Oh, what a combo! Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outmanned, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. Irish whip. Tag made. What's in store here? Rob Toehold is attacking the back. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. And he also made quite a name for himself, competing in battle royals, as you would suspect, seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant battle royal moment came at WrestleMania 2, when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. <laughs> there are certain superstars who are synonymous. Look at this, Byron. 
She's almost out of it. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. How about on SmackDown back in July of 2008, when he was forced to take on MVP, Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin, and the great Kali? Well, I don't know if there's a man alive who could have turned back that person. A lot can go wrong in a match. She's looking at it. Nailed it. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Ronda. She's not done yet. So resourceful. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, and it's a reversal. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injuries. I mean, he is looking at it here. Harsh impact. That's what makes her so dangerous. He's done playing. Ronda Rousey's done playing. She is on fire. Beautiful technique. This could end it in a hurry. Oh, nasty impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Right between the shoulder blades into the pump handle. Boom, what impact! She better do something fast. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. This might be it. Oh, my. She can pick up the win here, guys. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Look at her go. Ugh. She's starting to fight out, guys. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. She's got her. Big move coming. Wait for her. Oh, an impactful slam. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. She goes for the cover. True testament to grit. Wow. That'll mess up the back of your neck. She's licking her chops. We've seen this before. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Into the quick cover. King and out of that man used up her last bit of energy. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael.
the arm. She's starting to falter here. She doesn't want to let this handicap match get out of control. I just can't pick a winner at this point, guys. Any one of these women can take this thing. Hey, guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. When she gets in attack mode, look out. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, Byron, and those imposters posing as Hawk and Animal the Legion of Doom were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Cole. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. Oh, nasty impact. Damn it. She's in pretty bad shape right here. If she's not careful, she's going to end up on the wrong end of this handicap match. It looks to me like her night's about to end, guys. She's in really bad shape here. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. Believe it or not, I'm not at all surprised by what we're seeing here in this handicap match. To Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injuries. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. If you thought Monday Night Raw was exciting last night, just wait until you see what we have scheduled for tonight. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. And a knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. We know what's coming here. You gotta believe this one's over. And there it is, boys. Ronda Rousey. This might be it. Oh, my. She's got it now. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Oh, not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. This is it. Boom. <laughs> this one's over, guys. Right to the back of the neck. She's got her in her sights. Here we go. Running power slam. Wow, she's fought her way. We've got a cover. Barely at two and a half. I can't believe she kicked out there. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. She's absorbing some offense here. But this certainly isn't something she can't... Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. She might have it. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. She's starting to feel the pressure. You have to wonder if she can recover and take this handicap match. There's nothing fair about a handicap match. 
Nor is there anything fair about the beating she's taken. She's in some serious trouble here, guys. Luckily for her, she can afford to take on a bit of offense here. She's still in really good shape compared to her opponent. What a stop! Good grief! Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up with clutch, guys. Heavy duty right hand. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Well, I think a lot of people saw this handicap match going a lot differently, myself included. She is on fire. She looks for it once again. A long way down. This one is over. Even better the second time around. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Looking for the win. Oh, what impact. That should do it. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Beautiful technique. Impact. Oh, brutal. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. Showing some quickness there. We're looking at complete domination here. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. Specifically targeting the leg. She's calling her out. has got to be it. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even cover here. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. That's a woman on a mission. She's taking care of business. That's a woman on a mission. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here are your winners, Ali, the Idol, Tanaka, and the Headbangers. It wasn't traditional, but it's a win. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over some...